So we've got Eduardo's SBC done. Record breaker, obviously coming in relatively cheap. 82 rated SBC, 84 and 85. Pretty standard. 85 rated striker, obviously from Palace, and he is French. So it's quite an interesting one. And I do want to see if there is going to be a dynamic or anything. Again, very, very cool flair coming on that blue background. You love to see it. 91 pace, 84 shooting, 89 dribbling. It looks a pretty solid card. I haven't looked at the uh, the weak foot or the skill move. 4-4, four, four, which is absolutely perfect. 6-2, so obviously going to be a bigger build. Right-footed with a high medium. Finesse and flair, very nice indeed. Great pace options. Obviously, the shooting, we can go and get a bit higher up. Maybe we are looking at something like a finisher on him. Already got incredible strength, stamina, and heading. Uh, Passing-wise, we've got good short. Curves nice. To be honest, looks for an 85, a pretty solid card. So let's have a quick look at the packs that you do get back from him and their guarantee. So, the small gold players, we get an 80 plus guarantee on the Prime Electrum and a Prime Mixed Players Pack, which obviously all three are tradable. Can we get any sort of fodder or compensation back? We get a Prem Silver. If you've not watched the mid icon, you know I love a Prem Silver. So, let's have a look at the next one. We'll go small gold players. Again, you're hitting things. You never know. You might get a board, a walkout, a headline as an icon, or you may just get nothing. Just things to go back into the club to constantly keep them going around that personally is the best thing about these sbcs and a final one unfortunately is not a board so let's get him into the squad get a chemistry sorted no silver but good german league some decent silvers there so let's jump into the squad and put a chem style on him so we have gone with a finisher on him so interesting we get 99 finishing 94 shot power and 88 Six, seven, eight. Yeah, 88 attacking position. Very, very bad that it took me that long. And then also you do get the extra 99 dribbling, 99 agility, and 99 balance. And that's probably the only half that I'm not sure about if benefiting them or not. The chem star, people are saying Hawk. I knew I'd get it wrong. I suppose Hawk definitely makes sense. Obviously, it gives him a bit more physicality, gives him the pace and shooting. Next is a Maestro. I'm assuming that's going to be for more passing options. You get your dribbling, shooting, and passing. Again, another very viable option. I'm going to go with a finisher to start with. We will see what it's like, and I'll kind of make my decision at the end. He looks a relatively decent card. Um, we haven't got the price yet, so we will do that on the overall. So let's jump into some gameplay for him. So then, straight off the bat, let's get him going. Let's see what he's all about. Obviously, he's going to be playing that more attacking uh, kind of single zone. He takes the ball lovely there. What foot we are? Right-footed. Going to hit it across. Goal! Donnarumma with the save. Interested straight off the bat. He does seem quite a, a large build. I'm interested to know what that body type is saying because sometimes that can have, well, a lot of the time actually, that can have a huge impact on a striker. And whether you want him solo striking or obviously with a kind of a, a, maybe a smaller partner, somebody to kind of get that assist with. Going to dink up. He's going to go for the bicey. Messi instead is going to try and do some kung fu, but unfortunately doesn't quite make it we do get the header but he caught me a little bit off guard this guy throwing me all sorts of chances what can we find a little bit of a spin he obviously has that four star four star this guy does not know how to defend at all go for that left foot i wanted the outside of the foot but i forgot he doesn't have that trait rolling through people that strength is really going to come in handy lovely little touch wanted it back to edward if i could but unfortunately we are going to have to settle. This guy managing to get a very, very lucky shot inside. He's going to go for the power shot against Donnarumma. Trying to see what that kind of um, power shot, the, the kind of driven across goal is like. Because sometimes it, it just doesn't happen in terms of finesses. Even though he has the trait, not always do you find the option to finesse. We're going to find him back here. Wait for him to commit. Go across goal. And we're so close, it's bound to be. You know he's going to be able to finish them. Especially when you add a finisher. You end up with 92 finishing. Just turn him into a 90 striker as well. And obviously when we get the price, which I think will be relatively cheap. I don't see him being massively expensive. There is one, I think one or two. I think just one in form needed, in fact, on this card. So really not that expensive at all. And obviously an 82 rated SBC is not going to cost anything. I think 10k at a very push and even then more than likely you have that in your team already picking the ball up again 
Going to find him here. We're looking for the Vinny little partnership. He's going to pass it inside. Goes for the finesse. It's very, very rushed. But Donnarumma has to put one hand to it at the very minimum. And obviously, this is the added option that you're going to find with him. Is if you can get him onto his head. I feel like heading-wise, he's going to be relatively good. How this guy managed to score, I do not know. His defending is atrocious. Just walking through people. Just managed to get a very, very lucky shot and a rebound to get his goal. As Edward is just playing around the box. And to be fair to him, dribbling wise is not awful. Like for someone who's six foot two, he's again not, not the most elegant dribbler in the world, but it definitely can move and he, he can provide some really good attacking options. So quite interesting to see where we go with him, really. On the wing, what can we find here? We've got Theo. Binging one in, Messi going to try and head it back and it's a cracking header from Sule. And like I say, in terms of kind of Eduardo, I thought to be fair to him, he would end up being, that's a lovely little fake shot, kind of find this spot, little heel to heel, tries it against Sule involved. But I thought he would be somebody who's necessarily a little bit more on the bulkier side than necessarily somebody who could dribble. And I think he actually has the kind of benefit of both. Not necessarily, like I say, some of the strikers or wingers you get is not going to be, for instance, like the man on the ball now but in terms of kind of the size of someone who's 6'2 really really impressive I'd say the 1-2 with Messi looking for that ball down the wing is going to have his size and his strength against Sule a cross goal and it is a finish and a half beautiful beautiful stuff from him still going into the overall forum then 122k to be honest I wouldn't say it's that bad. Obviously, there is loads of striker options. I'm not saying that this is going to be the, the next best thing, the next best striker, somebody who's going to take the Prem to the next level. But in terms of a record breaker, if you're a card collector, a Palace fan, somebody increasing their French team who doesn't have Mbappe, you're looking at quite a nice little SBC. Easy to do. Um, I think, what, when's the expiry? Uh, we'll find that out in a second. Let's have a look at SBCs. He is expiring six days. So six days to do him. We've got league SBCs. We've got upgrades at the moment. And it is just an 82 rated SB, uh, an 82. Oh, it's two informs. 82 in an inform, a prem. 84 in an inform. And an 85, one French player. Pretty standard, if anything. Obviously, they're kind of liking to, to put in lower rated SBCs. Even though they don't necessarily generate much cost of the SBC, they give away 11 players. So if you think 100 people do the 82 rated SBC you're still giving up 11 players each time yes you do get packs back but normally you don't get 11 players back to be fair but in terms of this SBC I think it's in a relatively nice price um, I probably wouldn't have said it'd be an 86 rated SBC I think 85 84 and an 82 not bad at all I take it as an 85 and an 84 because 82s are just in your club regardless and I think in terms of his stats a nice upgrade from his 75 obviously a plus 10 which is always a really nice upgrade there there and he is relatively decent i think when you look at him straight away you've got a high and average body build that isn't necessarily the greatest you've got obviously the high medium work rate decent 6-2 you're expecting a bulkier build somebody with not necessarily an incredible amount of pace and that's why they've increased it even more because even though it says 91 pace you put him next to an insigne with 91 pace He's going to be quicker. It's just natural. Body weight, all of that height, it just naturally works out that way. But I was actually really impressed with A, his dribbling. I thought that actually was a lot better than what I kind of anticipated from him. His pace was decent. Nothing too spectacular, but definitely quicker again than I thought from a six foot two player. Shooting was fantastic. And I think, yes, Hawk Maestro probably is the better option because he'd already have 94 finishing and shot power. But then you do get the benefits of extra pace and a bit more physicality, more aggression than anything so overall i think he's coming in at a nice price um i'd probably rate him somewhere along the lines of about an 8.4 i wouldn't necessarily go too high in comparison to some of the strikers we've got when you're looking in comparison to ronaldo you're looking in comparison to Werner, jesus martial is unfortunately not going to go up in, in them sort of levels. But I think if you then look into the the Tonys, the Antonios, the Cahills, that's personally where he's really going to fit in, if anything. So overall, a nice card, a collector's card, if anything, or obviously, like I say, a Palace fan, you get yourself a record breaker, which is always fantastic. And I think overall, I think this is one of the, yeah, he had a, an 88 and a 92 for Celtic in the past two years, and obviously a man of the match. So again, he's back on track for another good card. Hopefully you did enjoy this video let me know down below if you're going to be completing eduardo's or eduard sbc record breaker and i catch you all for the next one like and subscribe peace